So this video contains precise instructions as to how to level multiple characters in literally the fastest possible way, mainly because you can level multiple characters at the same time. In this video, I will reveal never before seen secrets of level 10 dungeon boosting. These are very powerful techniques. You will need to refer to this video more than once. So bookmark or otherwise record the location of this video. The methods in this video are stronger than my normal YouTube content, and for that reason, Blizzard may hotfix these methods. If you want to stay ahead of the game and learn every super powerful leveling exploit there is, I'd strongly recommend joining my Patreon. Now, let's get straight into it. Making a level 10 twink is surprisingly straightforward. Either level a character to 10 or choose an allied race which starts at level 10 automatically. We use a level 10 because the damage scaling Blizzard put in is really messed up at that level. You are significantly stronger at level 10 than at any other point during the leveling process. Now go to best in or stats in Stormwind or Orgrimmar respectively and choose the option to stop gaining experience. Now you're going to run as many dungeons with the Looking for Dungeon Finder as possible and gear up. Note that there are no penalties for running dungeons with locked experience with players in the Looking for Dungeon Finder. Now the simple approach is to just run Warlords of Draenor dungeons as every boss here has a chance to drop eye level 59 epic gear. That method works fine but I found that you could also easily get some eye level 33 gear with multiple sockets, multiple gem sockets, by running other dungeons. 33 eye level gear with sockets is comparable with or even superior to 59 epics. Gem any socket with your primary stat, in this case intellect. So you might want to run dungeons outside Warlords of Drenna first, because the intermediary gear will enable you to run dungeons faster to then get the eye level 59 gear from Warlords of Drenna dungeons. As you get to eye level 35, you'll find that it is possible to run dungeons solo. This won't be terribly efficient at first, but it becomes increasingly desirable as you get closer to eye level 50, where you can smash virtually everything to pieces relatively easily without having to slow down much, without having to wait for a queue. Here's how to get to the physical entrances of the Draenor dungeons. Speak to Chromie at your faction capital's embassy and enter Warlords of Draenor Chromie time. That's the Iron Horde option. Then go to the Honor Hold Mage in your faction's portal area and port to the Dark Portal. Drop the Warlords of Drana intro quest. This is important as dropping the quest allows you to skip the Warlords of Drana intro scenario. You will then be transported to either Shadow Moon Valley or Frostfire Ridge in Draenor. Now, to get to the Shadow Moon Burial Grounds entrance portal, make your way down to Anguish Fortress in Shadow Moon Valley. This area has a force field around it, which you can bypass by getting a mob to kill you just outside the barrier and then resurrecting on the other side. For Blood Mall Slag Mines, you can just fly there. When you solo run Warlords of Draenor Dungeons, you are guaranteed some kind of drop from every boss. Be aware of secondary stats on items. Depending on your existing gear and playstyle, it may be desirable to use pieces with speed on them or leech. Now, this will take you some hours, but as you reach eye level 50, you'll find you are getting into diminishing returns. You'll often hear people gasping with amazement at your DPS if you are still running LFD at this stage. It is time to start thinking now about what you can actually do with your super powered gear. I'm not going to be discussing player versus player combat in this video, so that leaves two options. Boosting other players or boosting your own alts. These require quite similar but not identical strategies, as we'll see. There is surprisingly little public information on how to do this. Blizzard do not want you boosting either other people or your own characters with a twink, and have put in place many countermeasures to stop this happening. In fact, they overdid it massively and in the process created a loophole. When you queue for a dungeon with someone who has locked their experience, then everyone in the group receives a penalty when they enter a dungeon. 
and they will only gain very small amounts of experience. There's two effective ways around this. The first is kind of obvious and well known amongst Twink players. Simply queue your Twink and the character you want to boost for the same dungeon or dungeons, and if the queue pops for both characters at exactly the same time, you can be reasonably sure it's for the same dungeon. If a queue pops for one character but not the other, simply decline and re-queue, and keep doing this until you get a simultaneous queue. If you are trying to boost another player, this can work well. The only problem is that it can take a while to get both characters in the same dungeon, easily over half an hour. If you are trying to boost one of your own characters, this can be problematic. There's two issues. First, the character you want to level is going to be AFK and may get kicked by the group, so that requires some social engineering on your part. Second, the character you want to boost is not going to be in close proximity to the later bosses in the dungeon and may not get experience as a result. For these reasons, I developed an alternative method, which I haven't seen published anywhere. This requires you to form an entire dungeon team. Now, you're probably thinking, but I just have one paid account. And in fact, you can use free starter edition accounts for this purpose. You'll need the normal composition of a dungeon group, one tank, one healer and three DPS in order to meet the LFD requirements for queuing a group. For some reason, once you start queuing the first time, even with a full group, there is a delay of several minutes before you enter the dungeon. Just be patient. This method has significantly less downtime than the alternative. Once all your characters have selected their roles and are in the dungeon, everyone will get an experience debuff due to the presence of your twink with locked XP. Now get your twink to teleport out of the dungeon. Don't leave the instance group, just teleport out. You'll notice when you do this that the other characters suddenly get a five minute countdown on their experience debuff. Now, send your twink to either Bestin or Stats in their faction capital and switch on experience. Now, teleport back into the dungeon and wait for the debuff to fall off every character in the group except the twink. Now, get the twink to attack something and you'll notice the duration of the experience debuff on the twink has been reset to five minutes. So the twink is gaining virtually no experience while everyone else in the party gains full experience. Essentially, we are using Blizzard's own tricks against them here. We are using the experience debuff Blizzard implemented to stop boosting to prevent our twink from gaining experience. Now, this approach is almost a perfect solution. I say almost perfect because while it eliminates much of the waiting around you get with the simultaneous queue approach, this one is very quick, your twink will be levelling up very slowly, but they will be levelling up between 4 to 5% of a level per dungeon. You can get through a lot of dungeons using this method, but your twink will eventually become less effective as they scale up, meaning you'll have to restart the whole process eventually. You will get through a lot of dungeons before that happens though. You can run 20 to 25 dungeons even before you go from level 10 to 11. I shot so much footage for this video that actually happened and you see it makes no noticeable difference. You can probably get your twink to level 15 in fact, which would be well over 100 dungeon runs before you notice any decline in performance. Notice that I'm just running Hellfire Ramparts in this video. Now, you can try and do random dungeons. The issue with this is that many dungeons you just can't leave the characters in the entrance, so you need to put them on follow or move them manually through the dungeon to pick up maximum experience. There's a great guide to doing this by another YouTuber, which I'll link to below. Personally, I just find that an enormous headache. I generally prefer to keep things simple if I possibly can. So I just generally do a dungeon like Hellfire Ramparts, where you can leave your characters at the main entrance and they will get full experience. The downside being that they won't get the random dungeon bonus and they won't be able to do all the dungeon quests. This makes it very simple to level up multiple characters, which personally I think is a good trade-off, but you may think different. 
Twink boosting will work from 10 to 60. Players above 60 have no way to participate in low-level dungeons and receive full XP, so you'll have to find other ways from 60 to 70. I've outlined a number of methods to level from 60 to 70, and a link to the most popular should be coming up shortly on your screen. The most advanced methods, of course, can't be exposed publicly, so those are kept on my Patreon.